Okay, it's a video for, this is an unboxing for the 7 Hertz X HBB Elua. And we got Luther. It's a track by Kendrick Lamar and SZA. Beautiful, beautiful, off the GNX album. This is the box that it comes in. Tip this down just a little bit. See a lot of people out there angry on the internet audio world. People just need to take a breath, go touch grass, enjoy their life. It's music, your opinion's as valid as somebody thinks it is and not any bit more. Um, this is the set. Let's go ahead and take a look. There's no branding on the item itself related to a collaboration which I think is something a lot of people will probably like it's got seven Hertz it says a Lua on it um, you can see both of the drivers inside go ahead and put that down and there's no branding on the other side either as far as collaborator which some people uh, again probably will like this is the tips that usually come with seven Hertz this is the cable this is a $29 set it's a 10 millimeter dynamic driver which is taking care of the low end and into the lower mids and then the other driver which is eight millimeters taking care of um, in the mids to the rest of the way out to the upper treble the cable that comes with this is one that you would imagine it would come with a $29 set um, it's it's a side-by-side -side which I actually li like it's an L type which I actually like as well it has a a Lua branding on the Y split, and then we get up, and it's got a chin slider. It's it's uh so I always do this when I do my videos and show you how easy the cable is to manage, and then put it on a table. So I'll do that with this, and you can see it kind of not a great cable, but it's. It functions and it works. I haven't had any fails or heard of any, but it's not a it's not a quality cable. But again, it's kind of matching for its price range. And as a person that buys stuff that costs many thousands of dollars, sometimes a cable that comes with stuff. One thing that jumps out at me is the the Astell and Kern collaboration. I think it was called the Aurora, the gold one that had one of the most garbage cables. I wouldn't even want it on a thirty dollar set, and that. That cost me two thousand dollars and it was like brown beige it was just the weirdest thing um so this is the set go ahead and comment below i will be giving this to somebody that comments on this video um i want to thank seven hertz they did what i wanted the treble is atypical but i i didn't want to do something when you get into the budget range you give people a chance to try something slightly different from what they have in their collection and doing something that's kind of like the ke4 or many variants of that was simply not something that is worth anybody's time really the punch which is this one right here um, is a lot like the ke4's type of profile with the full extension um, peak at 3k but with a lot more bass and it's also a tribrid so there was a target here this was a uh, let's take something that's reasonably affordable and maybe gives people a chance to try something and say i actually like that graphs are grossly over leaned on um by people but in a hobby where there's really nothing else we don't have benchmarks we don't have we don't have real um objective data beyond a graph and as i've said many times a graph is objective data really until you open your mouth and then it immediately switches into a subjective exercise because how you take that objective data and explain it to your listener using your library which might be different from our others and how much you actually like bass remember your ears and how you think something should sound is is yours trained ears is a, a load of crap absolute load of crap i've talked to people that have trained ears and asked them to listen to and for certain things and they've been able to do it so it's nice to be qualified but i just don't know what that qualifies you for but that's the alua um and i'm i'm happy and satisfied with it another thing that's not matching something that you don't have in your collection i hope everybody's having a great 
um, holiday season and I'll be speeding up my output probably from this week. And I'm out.